Do not skip the picture frame aisle at Dollar Tree. They have beautiful designs that you can display your pictures or documents and they're also great for crafting. We're gonna start with these four gorgeous golden and glittery frames I found and I cannot believe that they already have this texture and this color. We're gonna remove all from it, including the paper inside, but we are going to keep the glass. Why? Because we're gonna use it. All right, so we are going to remove the little black clips completely, not just open them, because then you're gonna be able to see through the glass. So we're just gonna hot glue the glass onto each frame. Now, each of my glass had some sort of smudge on it. I could not figure it out what it was. It was not oily. It was not dusty. I cannot figure it out. Even after wiping with a wet wipe, it's still there. It's okay. You can't really see it when you're just looking at it, but if you really look at it, you can see it. But nonetheless, we're going to move on. We're just going to hot glue it to the frame, as I mentioned earlier. We're going to add a tiny little bit of glue on all over the edge, and then we're just going to place it and hold it until it hardens. And now we're gonna put everything together, creating a box. Now, looking back, I wish I would have left the front one with a kind of like one frame in the front. You're gonna see what I'm talking about. I stacked them like one each on each other. And then when you look at it from the front, you can really see that, that end, that one side, it's like you can see the seam. It's okay, it's not a game changer. I just would have done that differently, just so that you know. All right, so now we're gonna bring in some stickers. Now you can add whatever you want to the glass. You can add a decal if you have a cutting machine, but some of these stickers are awesome from Dollar Tree. The butterflies are one of my favorites. These stars will look great for a Christmas theme one. You can also add a pop of color if you want and add some florals. And then of course we have the decals that have this golden tone flowers, so cute. Now for this one, I'm just gonna stick with my favorite, which are the butterflies. I'm going to just do one on each side panel. Why? Because I just don't want to overwhelm it. I just want it to be a nice detail. Now you can add whatever you want to the inside. You can add florals, you can add candles like I'm doing, you can add fairy lights, whatever you want. These full candles I get on Amazon and I do have them on my Amazon store which it is linked down in the description box. They are battery operated, remote control, and they flicker like real candles. They are awesome. Look how gorgeous this looks with the faux boxwood in it. Love the way this one turned out, but I'd love to know what you think of it. Let me know down in the comments. Friends, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Upside, which is the free app that gets you extra cash on daily essentials like gas, groceries, and dining. And yes, my friends, it is real cash. The other day I hopped into my car and I wanted to go grocery shopping, just buy a few things that I needed. Before I walked in, I went into the Upside app, found a offer that they had available. I claimed the offer and I walked in. I literally just shopped the way I normally do and is as easy as letting the cash register do this thing and then paid with the card that is in the Upside app. And two days later, there's the balance from my time at the grocery store. And here's the thing, top Upside earners are making as much as $300 a month. So go down to the description box, click the link in the description and download the free Upside app and use code beauty on purpose. Or you can also scan this QR code. Using this code will get you an extra 25 cents back for every gallon on your first tank of gas. So check it out. For this next Dollar Tree DIY crop, we're gonna take this eight by 10 frame from the Dollar Tree and we are going to just remove everything from it. Now the glass was broken, so I'm gonna be very careful. And it was broken when I purchased it, but I knew what I wanted to make with it, so it did not matter. I'm gonna remove the back, the paper, as well as the glass, of course, and then those little tabs in the back, carefully pulling them off. I'm gonna paint the frame in the beautiful Waverly Chalk Bin moss color, but you can do whatever you want. You can paint it in whatever color or leave it as is. It depends on what style you want. I did one coat. I wish I would have done two. In the end, it was okay, but looking back again, I would have done two. 
All right, so we're gonna put that to the side and it looks beautifully dry. We're gonna take this ribbon from Dollar Tree. It has a beautiful ticking stripe style. And we're gonna start high gluing it in a zigzag motion. So I'm just gonna add a little dab of glue on one end and then angle cut it and glue it just like you see me there and then do it again and then one more time all the way to the bottom. It's looking so cute already. All right, we're gonna add some florals. These are a bundle that I got at Walmart. Love their selection. They are really good bang for your buck. I'm gonna remove just one of the picks, including the leaves and the flower. We're gonna start drilling a hole right there in the corner. This is so that we can add that little leftover pick on the back of each flower. We're just gonna add a little glue and then place it right there. Then we're gonna start adding the leaves just all around the flower, just to add texture, color, and just a beautiful feminine touch. And then we are just gonna add a little hot glue and that's it, it will go, it will go a long way. I think this one turned out absolutely stunning. It's one of my favorites. What a fun way to display notes, photos, or whatever you want on it. Let me know what you think of this one. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we are gonna take this patriotic style frame. Even though it was not meant to be patriotic, I think the red, white, and blue really gives it that like look so we're going to make something here patriotic but of course you can use it as an inspiration and make your own style i'm going to take this piece of scrap poster board and i'm going to take a calendar from the dollar tree and we're just going to add one of the just a, a small portion of this july calendar page we're going to cut off the established in 1776 and then we're going to add it onto the poster board now i'm going to try to mimic the design that is already on the calendar page and i'm just going to add some gray distressed stripes and then when we place it it's not going to look as defined which is what i wanted we're going to place it right there in the center with some double-sided tape and then we're going to place it right inside the frame just like you see me doing here in the holiday aisles from Dollar Tree, you can find different decors for different holidays, including 4th of July and Memorial Day. These little ornaments are so cute and they're great for crafting as well. I'm going to cut off one star from each color and we are going to hot glue them around the frame just to add a little bit more of that patriotic style. And a little glue goes a long way because they are very lightweight. I added the red and the blue towards the each bottom side and then we're gonna add the white one on top. But you can do whatever design you want. I think it's such an easy, so festive, so beautiful craft you can make even right now. It's so easy. Let me know what you think of this one. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we are gonna take these gorgeous puzzle style frames. They're four by sixes. And I thought, why not make something? I mean, you don't even have to do anything with it. You can buy them all in the black or all in the white or mix match them like I did here. And oh, you can also buy multiple, not just four. Love that they can actually join together like a puzzle. How fun. You can do any design you want like you see me doing here. I'm just going to stick with like a square design. But again, you can do whatever you want. I went onto Canva and I just printed out some of these designs, just little encouraging phrases for my daughter because I am going to gift this to her. And we're just going to cut them to fit one in each frame. The key is it's you want them to fit to the size. So I'm just going to use one of the backing and then we're going to use that to trace and cut each design so that it fits nice and perfectly in each frame. Once cut, of course, we're just going to place them. Just make sure that they are facing the right direction, of course. And we're just going to place the design first and then the backing just like it came. And then, of course, secure it with the little tabs from the back. And we're going to do one in each frame.
How fun is this looking? Now you can add a rope, ribbon, whatever you want to the top and hang it that way. I didn't want to do that because I wasn't sure what design she's going to want for her bedroom. But remember, you can also hot glue them together so they don't come apart. Possibilities are endless. How fun, how easy, and what a great craft and gift you can give someone. Absolutely love the way this one turned out. But let me know what you think of this one. Thank you Upside for sponsoring this video and don't forget to check out their link down in the description box. And I have another video here for you with tons more of Dollar Tree DIY crafts inspiration. Check it out. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.